So I truly never imagined when starting my PhD that part of my thesis would be focused on studying the chemistry of why poop smells bad. That is exactly what I've been working on lately, and I can tell you it's actually a really fascinating topic. So in all honesty, we accidentally stepped into this project. You see, our underlying fascination lies within the human gut microbiome. We like to think of ourselves as just human beings, but in reality, we actually have more bacterial cells in us than human cells. And the bacteria that inhabit us are constantly performing a wide range of chemical reactions that impact mammalian health. The large molecules that perform these reactions are called enzymes. And in the journal lab, we are interested in discovering new enzymes currently of unknown function that are really abundant in the human gut microbiome. And that's exactly how we discovered IAD, the enzyme that makes a molecule called skatal. This molecule that's extremely odorous and is one of the large culprits of why poop smells bad. So you might be wondering, why does this even matter? And I had the exact same question at first. So I was surprised to find out that the agricultural industry has been searching for this enzyme for a really long time. Why? Three main reasons. First of all, zoning regulations. So there are currently really strict zoning regulations on how far communities must be from farms based off of smell. Secondly, a phenomenon called boar taint. So the degradation of skatal in the liver is actually inhibited by male hormones. And this can cause a buildup of skatal in boar tissue, making perfectly good meat smell tainted or spoiled. And lastly, skatal can actually um, be toxic to lung cells in cattle, causing fatal diseases in these animals. Currently, the only solutions for these problems is to castrate boars and to keep cattle on low skatal or basically low protein diets. But if we can just figure out how to inhibit IAD, we can solve all of these issues. In order to figure out how we can inhibit IAD, however, we first have to understand how this enzyme operates in the first place. In the Drennan lab, one of our favorite ways to figure out how an enzyme can get the job done is to use a technique called X-ray crystallography. With X-ray crystallography, we can essentially take snapshots of our enzymes. We can take pictures of IAD before it's done its chemistry, while it's in action, and after it's made skatal. And then we can start to think how IED actually performs its job and how it could stop it from performing its job. So far, I have solved an initial structure of IED and I'm currently working to get a high resolution structure so that we can understand how it works at the atomic level and begin to think how we could inhibit this enzyme from producing skatal. Overall, this has been a really fascinating project to work on and hopefully with this work, we can help make the world stink just a little less.